Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how you can use the word library that's part of NanoManage for jQuery package within your applications. Using the library you can actually create and build up a word document in memory and within your ASP and MVC applications you can transfer that in your memory stream with the response screen back to the client or you can store that onto the server. So you get a full extensibility to create a, a Word document with adding uh, tables, images, formatted text to it and you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. So to sh demonstrate that in this example what we're going to do is we're going to display our data in a grid and then on a click of a button take that data and export that to a Word document. So I have configured the project, the MVC project, to uh, consume data from customers table in Northwind and display that in our grid. So let's just run this project and see what we have at runtime. So you can see that it's a typical MVC application and now there's a grid being displayed at the bottom and uh, as I scroll you can see this is a customer information with five columns uh, being pulled from Northwind database. So coming back to our project, kind of seeing what's happening behind the scenes, we can first go into the app data folder so you can see that the Northwind database is embedded in our application and uh, we're using entity framework as an ORM solution so we have all the class and everything created on top of our of our database and then in our model what I have is a customer model class defined here with a uh, simple static method uh, get customer list and what this uh, method does is it uses link query to grab all the customers from the database and pass it to the uh, to the method call as an iQuery blow of customers. So in our in our controller, what we're doing is we're basically calling that method. So uh, this is the grid data source action, and this is actually call when the grid is ready to data bind, and um, it calls this customer list method from the controller, which is defined our home controller here. And in that con in that action method, what we're doing is we're basically calling that get customer list uh, from our model and grabbing all the customer information. And now in this case, we're passing that information to our view. So now in our view, what we have defined is um, is our grid using the razor syntax, um, and we are defining five columns by hand: it's customer ID, name, title, contact name, and a, and a country. And then uh, it, with the data source URL parameter, we're we're specifying the customer list method. This is the method that's been defined in our controller. And just setting up some additional simple properties, uh, calling data bind in the render method. So by doing all of this, we get this uh, grid with uh, customer information being displayed for five columns. And now what we're going to do is we want to add a button uh, to our uh, page. And on a click of that button, we want to take that data, the same data, and now export that to a Word document. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste some HTML. And it's uh, pretty simple, so um, I'll just paste it here and go through that real quick. So what, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a, a HTML begin form, uh, which is basically going to be called or it's going to add an action to it. So whenever there's a submit button inside of that form, it's going to go to the home controller or any control we define here. So what we're specifying here in a begin form is that export data to Word is the actual action method we want to call in this case uh, whenever the submit button is clicked inside of this form and then it, it the, the actual action method resides in the home controller which is our default uh, controller and the uh, form action method is going to be a post so what's going to happen is going to define the uh, submit button and when you click on it it's going to call this action method in our home controller so let's come back to our uh, home controller and um, and see what what we are doing in that method call. So in the word export, this is the method call export data to Word, and this is the method that's going to be called whenever the user clicks on that button. And what we're doing here is we are again calling that same uh, model method get customer list, um, and kind of storing that in the variable customers here. And what we're going to do here is basically create everything uh, using the Word API. Uh, just creating a simple document, paragraph, text, and everything, a table, cells, and then export it to the Word. 
So we can start off by creating a memory stream defined here. Then we go ahead and create a Word document writer, which is our basically the, the top level document writer um, API and, and that holds everything related to the Word document. So you assign the memory stream to it because it's, a, it's sort of a forward stream here. Um, in, in the case of a file I.O., if you define a file stream, then it's going to continue to write file streams. So again, um, in, in case of large document creation, you can have a forward-only mechanism so you're not holding a lot of memory at any given point in time. So we, in this case, we're going to actually continue to write to our memory stream and then pass it to our response object so that the entire Word document gets uh, transferred uh, to the client. So we start off by calling some methods so to start a document, start a paragraph, and then first thing what we do is in that paragraph is we want to add a text of Northwind customer list, and then we end the paragraph. So again, uh, we start an object, we do something with it, and then we close it. That's basically the typical uh, um, uh, code uh, methodology that we're going to use here because it's a forward-only mechanism. Next thing we want to do is because it's a it's a it's a grid that we're exporting. We want to create a table. Uh, and we'll use the create table properties, which is uh, which gives us an option to add um, uh, the styling for for a table that we we'll export. So we're gonna add the alignment, the border properties of color and style, and we continue to add some more table properties for the header row in this case. So we want a header to be styled differently, and then uh, uh, the content uh, cells to be a, a different style. So we're gonna go ahead and um, add some cell props for the um, for the cell. Uh, that are in the headers and then we go ahead and start table and basically add a table row which is the header row and pass in the header row properties to it then we go ahead and add table cells so for each column that we're going to display in our uh, exported word document we're going to add the uh, add the column headers for it and then once we're done with the row uh, the, all the cells we just call end table row and then we now go ahead into content area of that table so we do the same thing we first instantiate the cell properties for the content cells and then uh, we iterate through all of our customers uh, which we have now from the model and we are just setting up some alternate row properties here so then we go ahead and do the same thing here so we now are adding uh, cells and grabbing the actual value uh, or the cell text from the actual customer object so iterating through all the customers and grabbing the values accordingly. And then we go ahead and end table, end document, and close. So here, at this point in time, we have created a Word document in memory, and it's ready to be um, either uh, stored on the file system or um, send it to the response object. But it's a web application, so you want to take that uh, information and pass it on to the client. So we use the response object here and append the header to be an attachment and we set up a file name to be a customer list and then set the content type and go ahead call the method uh, copy to on our memory stream and copies everything from the memory and writes it to our response or out stream and then finally we just call end response so now by doing all of that adding the HTML button and this method call that iterates through our customers and creates a word document in memory and exports it to the response stream let's see what we have at runtime so here you see the same grid, same data, and now we have export word button. Let's click on that, and you saw that it, it just came up with this open, save, cancel toaster at the bottom, and let's click on open. So it's now opening up the word document, and um, as you can see here, that all of our data uh, that's pulled from the model using the same method call and specifying the columns and header uh, styles and alternate row styles and adding these table cells and table um, into the entire table row and the actual table to the Word document we have all of our data exported to Word using the uh, Word library by Infragistics. So thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com